second half? None. Uh, no adjustments. We had, we had a full game game plan ready for him, and uh, we just the message was just we're we're the best second team second half team in the country, and we prove it every single week. And it was just great to go out there and do it again. JJ, did you feel like you were almost daring you to pass? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Especially at first when they were just stopping all the runs for like two, three yards of carry, and safeties were playing so low. So that excited me even more. To the right here, Steve then Aaron. Uh, JJ, take us through your run into the end zone. That was so critical. Man. You keep the team going. So. For sure. Uh, I I fight coach more for those plays. Like, just give me the ball when we need to get some gritty yards, and I'm going to go and get them. He's been open all year, and I was just so happy to finally connect with him. He's a special player, and that play he made on third down when it was cover zero and breaking that tackle, like two tackles, this kid's a special player, and I'm so happy to play for him, too. I want to say right after that uh, touchdown coming out of the half, I just felt like we were able to do everything that we wanted to do at that point, and I felt so comfortable, so calm. First half, I was a little amped up because I've been waiting to play this game for so long, but once the nerves kind of calmed down and everything settled, it, I knew it was over from there. Straight ahead, Tony, then Bernie. Yeah, JJ, you said that there were no halftime adjustments made yet. You ran 11 times for 10 yards in the first half, and I think Donovan himself finished for 215. How, how does that happen? How does that play? <sighs> I mean, it. it's just like, Pipes bursting, like we're putting the pressure on, we're putting the pressure on, we're putting it on, and then eventually it's going to burst. And I was just so happy to see him get through that front seven, and once he got passed through there, it was over.